Good evening. Stan Bergstein. Spencer Ross is away on special assignment, but for those hundreds, thousands, I guess, of particularly ladies who wrote in and said, let's see that man behind that mellow, mellifluous voice. Here he is, Jackie Lee, next to me tonight. And Jackie started off frequently by saying Roosevelt Raceway, where it all began and where it is today, and if it hadn't been for the man who we're honoring tonight, there wouldn't be a Roosevelt or harness racing, probably. That's right, Stan. Uh, great, great man. I knew him in probably the twilight of his career, but he was still going strong until the day he passed away. An inimitable. No one quite like George Morton Levy. He had ideas at 85 and 87, more progressive than many people, uh, half his age. Absolutely. Jack, tonight, to honor George Morton Levy, we have a race that undoubtedly is the best of 1979 on paper. I think so, Stan. In fact, uh, if there's one race that I'm looking forward to calling this year, uh, that would be tonight's race. And I'm glad that we got a little break in the weather. What it started out earlier in the day was pretty bad. No, but I like think we're going to move tonight. I think we'll move, too. Do you have any idea in particular who's going to be doing the moving and who's going to be doing the final moving at the wire? I think the final moving should come between Tri Scotch. I look for the two three-year-olds to cause some problems, and sentimentally, I'd like to see Rambling Willie get there, too. The two three-year-olds, of course, being hot hitter, the leading money winner in the history of harness racing in a single season, well over 800,000, and direct scooter. And those two are pretty tough. They certainly are, Stan. Uh, this direct scooter, uh, it's a great year for him. Uh, I would rank him probably as one of the top three in the country right now. Hot hitter went a big mile here, as you know, last week to win the uh, Messenger. He's got his work cut out for him. Hervé is back, so we've got some magic there. Uh, the horse on the rail, Tri Scotch, is no newcomer to New York. He looked uh, sensational here back in July. Rambling Willie, the, the whole bunch. Uh, if this was a nice warm night, I think you'd see a Maybe a 55-mile. That's the capabilities of the field. Oh, we're going to see a good one, and you'll hear Jackie Lee calling it. But first, we're going to take a look 